Uh, Evan, I wanted to start off with you. I wanted to know what benefits you get from having your dad in your corner as you're boxing. Um, I feel like, you know, the benefits is just, um, he's definitely been there, done that. So there's uh, a lot of things that he's done that many people really don't have the experience of, um, you know, sharing. And it's just a blessing for him to be able to share it with me whenever. There's nothing uh, I never have to ask. It's just things he just wants to do. Well, Vashti, I mean, we all know your dad, Randall Cunningham, a great NFL quarterback and known for his speed. Growing up as a track and field star, I mean, did you ever feel the pressure at all to be as fast as your dad? Um, definitely, I felt the pressure when I was a bit younger to just always be at the top of, uh, the, top of the competition because I would always see videos of him just being such a standout athlete. So that was definitely some of the pressure that I felt young. But when I, I got older and I realized we do different sports and we're in different times, that's when I started to kind of go my own way. Evan, I wanted to jump back to you. You chose boxing. Your brother Elijah chose the sport of football. So I was curious, growing up in the shadow of a famous father, was it different for you because you chose boxing as your sport? Oh, yeah, um, I believe it was differently, but we also had similarities, too. I remember I used to watch some of his um, football games, and he used to score. He used to say my dad's name, too, and he don't even play football. So, then, you know, it comes with um, familiar territories, but as far as boxing, um, everybody's just always just expected me to be just out the box, just really good, just, um, just spectacular. And just like with anything, um, any sport, it's always um, a learning process, and you know, people always just got the things to, um, they compare me to my dad, but they never seen the process of him coming up and um, him becoming great too. So we all have a process to go through. All right, well, let's talk about this documentary. Once in a lifetime opportunity had to be so awesome for you guys to experience that. But what did you guys learn about yourselves throughout the process? Um, Evan, I can start with you. Um, you know, what I learned throughout the process was, well, really in the beginning, it was just really just getting familiar. It's just, you know, learning, you know, just going to the professional atmosphere was really a big step for me, especially for the amateurs. Um, a lot more cameras and a lot more attention, a lot more eyes and expectations on me. And um, it's just about just knowing who you are and um, because people will be quick to tell you um, what you should be. And those are the things that I learned so far. And Vashai? I'm definitely going to have to feed off Evan when he says just, you know, getting adjusted to the professional lifestyle of like having a lot of cameras around and going into a competition with, you know, people coming behind you. Like I always see boxers come in with an entourage when they're coming into the ring for their day of competition. And it kind of felt like that a little bit when I would go to my competitions and I would have a group of people coming in with me, someone with a microphone. That was probably just the biggest adjustment for me was just learning how to remain focused during that time and, you know, not to be, um, not to ever let it get to my head and just remain what I've been working on and who I am. And for both of you, there's always that measuring stick of being compared to, you know, your famous father as an athlete, also as a person. Just in general, did you find that being a, uh, having a famous father gave you more advantages or disadvantages in your athletic process? Hmm. I think that the advantages that come with having your father as a coach, let alone a, a famous father, are kind of like, they're definitely borderline because there's there's people who go from coach to coach to coach. And the way that my life is set up, I've kind of just remained with my dad. And I've always known in the back of my mind that he just wants the best for me and is going to put his all into me based off the experience that he went through and the things that he learned. So I feel like that's kind of like the upper hand of that side of relationship of coach dad. Evan, same question for you. Were, were there more positives or were there more negatives to having a famous father? Uh, I, pretty much, pretty much what she said. I feel like it was kind of like a double-edged sword in some, in some facts. Um, with the name, of course, there's a lot more opportunities, a lot of doors and um, windows that are open for you. But also, you know, there's a lot of expectations that come with it.